doing a crop check this morning looking and seeing what uh, what this hay grazer where I got stuck a while back in one of my videos right after 4th of July uh, see what it looks like There's Andrew, he's 14. That's my little Jimmy. He's afraid of Jack now. He ain't gonna hurt a thing. Little Jimmy turns short. That's my water trailer. That used to be an old combine trailer that I cut the tongue off and raised it, made a gooseneck out of it, put a thousand gallon water tank on it, and then I put a floor up here in these front A frames. You don't hit my hit my pickup. Wow, that was close. <laughs> Bet you he didn't even know he come he come close to my pickup. We'll see if he did. Did you know you hit my blue pickup? Did you know you hit my blue pickup? I did. With the trailer. You didn't, but you almost did. You almost did. Come look at the tracks. Oh, I see him. <laughs> I see him. I wasn't looking yeah, at Yeah, I know it. I seen your head when you did it. I was like, oh, I hope it don't hit. Uh, I'm not used to driving with the tractor uh, on. Yeah, with the trailer. trailer. On. I know. No big deal. You did good, Th son. This is why I don't drive. <laughs> you did good, boy. You did good. You're going to put on YouTube now. I am. Yeah, we just decided we would just go and jump off the deep end and get us another pump and I know that's probably a worse brand than Briggs and Stratton but oh well we will drain the tank 100% this winter and, and put it in the barn maybe it'll last three more years but we got that converted back we got all the plumbing redone oil put in it checked it out everything looks good Oh, it's Drew and you might go get my that blue ch uh, discharge hose that I brought that we was working on. That blue hose you rolled up. Oh. You might go get it. It's, it's over. We need to put it on here before I forget it. Yeah, it used to be an old combine trailer, and uh, I cut off. It used to be some trenches right here, some valleys that the combine would drive with the tongue on the ground it was it wasn't a gooseneck it was a, a tongue pull and a combine with that on the ground would drive over and straddle this and come up over and into these cradles right here then it had some deals that would fold up somehow big old blocks I think I cut them off somewhere in here and they would come up and they would stand about that high and then you would raise the tongue as you can see this tongue has a here's the center of the tongue and it's got a this tongue will go up and down i got it pinned right here 
but anyway then you could put a hydraulic jack in there and jack that up with this right here it had a bail over this and you could put a, hydro, uh, a 20 ton jack on that and jack this tongue up and then pin it and then you could hook it up to your uh, to your semi and haul your haul your combine well I, I cut all that off I gave nothing for this trailer and I cut all that off and I welded these sea purlins on there or channel irons on there and mounted my thousand gallon tank on there and this is my water trailer so and we need to put a new floor in it but and they were an old retired uh, fire hose so I can go get water over here at the from our village at the off the fire hydrant I'm an OX firefighter so and then I've got it either way I've got it with the female fire fire fitting on that end I can hook up to the pump or I got it the male over there I can hook up uh, to the uh, the fire truck so either way to I can fill I can either fill a fire truck or for, we'll fill out of a hydrant so and in case we have a grass fire I could I could transport water water to them so anyway that's what we've been working on today we're fixing to work on the sprayer sprayer tractor anyway and I need to replace this little tube it's all sun baked but anyway that's that and we're, we're going to cut the mullet tonight oh yeah you're going to cut it oh yeah all right you're going to let me chop it off Mm-hmm. just a bird cut just using my machete do you want just a bird with a buzz huh yep so you'll be cooler good the covid mullet watching the uh, fiber optic cruise and they're putting up uh, this overhead fiber so they're driving in my hay grades are just on the edge there but oh well it's all for the cause of YouTube that way it won't take me three hours to download a 15 minute YouTube video anymore or upload a 15 minute YouTube video it takes three hours right now I might even do some live streaming here at the house. We should have it here in a, in a couple months. Well, me and, me and Drew got the tubes all cleaned out in this air conditioner. We took a speedometer cable off of a 79 model Ford pickup and put it on the end of a drill and stuck it in these tubes and run it all the way up in there and when it met resistance we would turn on the drill while applying pressure and got the two tubes cleaned out we got the other side and this one now we're putting all the all the shields back on the drew's getting the one over the battery and then we're getting the we're getting the ones here, right over here. This is where the, the hose was back behind this. And Drew's screwing that back on. He can't shake his mullet today. And then I gotta clean up where the water dripped in there and do a little servicing. Right. You, you got it tight, Drew? Yeah. Good boy. Then we got the hoses figured out for the the booms I can raise these booms up and down uh even when they're folded out and uh, I couldn't do it the other day because I got the I had the the uh the remote switched one of these was all down there and one of those was up here so it wasn't gonna work too good but we got that figured out and we got the sprayer trailer full of water and we got we got a load of chemical on there we're gonna road this down there so first thing in the morning I can uh I can go to spraying. Well, good morning. It's another good day to go spray.
we're sitting here spraying a little bit this morning having to respray uh, this is what I sprayed the other day with uh, 2,4-D and uh, 2,4-D burnt the tops of them the big weeds but that's about it and so we uh, I'm putting out atrazine with a little bit of ag oil uh, spiked with D so we're gonna I uh, I finished like 20 acres I had to come back over here for 20 acres the other day uh, mainly it's the turn rows and uh, I, ha I didn't have quite enough D but I had a little bit of atrazine left over so, uh, from last year so I put a little bit of atrazine in there just to kind of you know bring it back up so it didn't kill something and it wiped the turn rows out you can see where I nailed it that atrazine don't mess around so I decided I'd just go ahead and just put atrazine on this thing and uh, I don't like doing that because if I ever have to put wheat put wheat on here because uh, we didn't get enough rain let me turn around here because we didn't get enough rain then then uh, it won't it won't work because atrazine is a, a no-no for wheat so so that's, that's why I don't like to do that but this here is already it's grew quite a bit get back on course here it's grew quite a bit uh, since I sprayed it last and we hadn't had any rain so uh, man I'd say some of this stuff is waist high not quite waist high I mean it might be you know the mid thigh and then there's some of it that's you know you know calf size and there's a little bit that's you know under that but it's really all in all if it didn't have the weeds in there for competition it would probably be you know just straight but you know, where the weeds have hit it hit it the worst uh, the high grades are going down and that's what we're trying to nail but uh yeah it's 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 all working good and uh we're getting along good this morning uh and you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes on this uh weed killing session so stay tuned